And I come down this afternoon on the high tide and the sea is monstrous. Sorry for the wind. Yeah, I try my best to talk loudly into the mic, but yo, the sea is angry. Yella. But what is interesting that uh, the waves are not really breaking over that bank, but in the same breath, I think it's really long. And so it's breaking its speed. But if I zoom across to there where the people are walking, that one pole is gone, that one sign. So I reckon it's really close to the second one dropping away. Hopefully somebody found the other one and has put it up one side. It's incredible how the water. Oh, absolutely amazing to see. And I'm so happy to say I can share it with everybody. But uh, I could hear the water from my house. And his aunt came down this morning with Legacy. And it wasn't long and he was back home saying it is absolutely crazy. Yeah, angry, angry, angry sea at the moment. Right, let me go up to the top there and see what it looks like. Looking up to the top of the dune. The wind cranking like this, obviously plenty sand blowing over the top here. You can see there's only one. Now there's the, the other one. I think I'll quickly go down and save it so that the guys can plant it again. But uh, we'll compare this to yesterday. See how the bank is gone. But uh, I think a lot of the, the energy that has been broken is because of that sandbank there that eastern bank is very long so it's breaking a lot of the energy of the sea that's coming off the ocean and uh, if that was a lot shorter i'm sure then we'd have a lot more wave action going on here but it's still bashing up here and those still eating away and uh, maybe tomorrow morning this pole will be gone and if I go across there you can see the water washing in there and then uh, there where the chaps are standing fishing there's lots of water also rushing over the top of that so I'm sure the chaps are getting one or two fish otherwise they wouldn't be standing there but it's extremely extremely humid and hence the reason why it's so hazy Plus this uh, northeasterly also creates a lot of misty haziness. Yeah, interesting times again. Yeah, and always my concern has been this bank growing so much and the sea pushing in the sand and eventually closing the, the gap from the sand from the sea rather than from this dune. You can see on that corner there um, the sand washing in but so long as there's enough wash from the fresh water um, from the lake system and from the Pelosi I'm sure we'll be okay and we had 50 odd millimeters last night and today so with all this rain and I believe we also had a, a lot of rain Morning everybody. Right, it's low tide here at the mouth. And you can see how this water is gushing out of here. Crazy. Now this is really good to see. And uh, the sea is still angry, upside down. There's lots of energy still out there. And I'll share with you guys on the video later on and what we talk about the energy. And as you can see, this the eastern bank, how it's grown. And so this bank is the one that's uh, slowing the energy down, which would have the power 
to knock this dune flat and you can see the other pole is gone on the other sign and uh, somebody obviously took the sign that fell off yesterday and has replanted it up there on the right hand side of the dune but that dune was extremely high and uh, now you can see there's uh, not much left and after tonight's high tide it'll be interesting to see again how much sand has shifted but like i say the power of the surf has been uh, softened by this big bank here majestic marmalade in the background but uh, there's lots and lots of fresh water coming through here and you can see how steep this bank is as is water flowing through and eating away at this bank let me go up and see what's going on on the other side uh, the chaps are fishing at the top there on the high tide so the, the actual drop off is quite a way in and this is where i believe that the fish would move see this bank here how high it is There's the bank that uh, has been eaten away quite uh, extensively by the tide. I just love to know where the actual other sign has gone. Just right through here carefully. Oh, I'm worried about the bank breaking away whilst I ride through. That's an interesting point. Look at this guy. It'll be interesting to see what happens to this pole. And as I turn back, we have just come and you can see how that bank is breaking away. So maybe this bank is being eaten more by the activity of the fresh water moving out than it is by, by the sea action. You can see how the water has been rushing over the top, flattening those reeds at the back there. And uh, yeah, interesting to see again what happens this afternoon on the high tide. If I get a chance, I'll come down combined yesterday's high tide with today's high tide and this low you can see the water going across here so once you're on the other side here towards the pinnacle uh, on a high you'll have to wait until the tide drops because you can't walk through here but look how this whole system here has changed and the reeds are right here where I ride amazing and we see this clay all the bits of clay lying here there's a clay bank breaks up you can see how the water is washed over here on the high tide yeah i think i'm definitely going to try and make a plan to come down this afternoon and see what it looks like but i think the water is washing right over the top here and you can see basically if i went straight up into the Amphalosi River it was something that I was saying all along that uh, I think eventually that is bend is going to go away and the Amphalosi River will come straight down and it'll come in a straight line I think that's exactly what's happened here you see all the chaps fishing I remember it's uh, holidays so lots of people coming down having a look what's going on here fishermen locals and uh, get up close yeah you can see the color line of uh, where the lake system and the river system join or meet beautiful color line there stop quickly and zoom in you can see how clear the color line is and the hippos are there in the distance opposite bank than normal 
maybe too many too much fisherman activity this side and there there's another local there <laughs> giving us a, a good morning there are you darren lego where's the fish oh there we go you check the man is a local not for nothing hey <laughs> nice darren any other fish come out darren Okay, cool. Well, definitely worth to spend some time here by the sounds of things. Catch a fish or two. So sadly, you can see here's our marker and there's no flow of water going through here. And the tide has kind of washed over the top here, you can see, but it hasn't gone this much further. But uh, the drop off now down the back there is, is quite steep. So, and that bank at the back, like I said this morning is causing the water to slow down a lot so it doesn't wash over the over the top sorry I lost it there but yeah so um, it is what it is and nature just doing its own thing this is so heavy can I get an idea just comparison to the people standing here the size of these waves they are massive it's crazy and again like I mentioned before the energy is just this wave is washing up. So it's afternoon on the high tide you can see the sea is definitely dropping a bit the size of those waves and obviously the northeasterly wind has uh, helped that to happen still quite a good surge coming through here and I'm sure around the corner there a lot of this water you can see how it's bashing up against you so obviously eating away at this bank and then that one over there where the two poles were you can see the folks are now standing where the pole has now been replanted and uh, that bank has been eaten away properly so I'm sure I'm going to go up to the top of that and see what it looks like going over the top into the actual uh, lake system, the mouth there. I'm sure it's going to look good. I'm standing on top of the junior but I'm a little bit nervous and I'll zoom into like this and you can see the cracks. So this piece of bank can fall away at any moment. So I'm not going to stand here too long. And once again you can see the water moving across the top there. And the guys right at the pinnacle you see lots of water rushing over the top and it's such a good thing because all of that sea water is now flowing into the lake system and you can see the surge coming through here moving into the system sadly now we're going to be moving away from the springs back towards neep so this will die down a lot but uh, looks like there's a lot of fresh water coming through and I think, as I said this morning, on the low tide, a lot of this bank has been eaten away also by that the movement of uh, the fresh water coming out of here. But uh, if I go across here, looking north, once again, you can see these cracks over there and over here. So big chunks of sand will break away as you get these big surges just had one now and you can see all the foamy water down here and if i zoom a little real quickly you can see there lots of water now rushing in through those reeds yep, good sign man yo oh, good sign but sadly yeah the sea's gonna calm down and we won't have so much action but still nature doing its own thing so fantastic to see well, folks, until the next video, be safe, everybody.